to draw the inverse of this graph, it's a good idea to draw the original graph first. So we're going to draw this graph first. Now, that is a parabola. So if I was in a test and I couldn't remember how a parabola works, what I would do is I would just draw a random little parabola like that, and then I would see that it needs a turning point, x-intercepts, and a y-intercept. And those are the three things we should find. So it's x-intercepts, y-intercepts, and turning point. I'm going to start with turning point because they've given us this equation in turning point form. What that means is that the turning point is going to be positive 2 and negative 4. Remember that that turning point form of a parabola. And so 2 and negative 4 would be somewhere over here. And so you can label that 2 and negative 4. Next, I'm going to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you make x equal to 0. And so that's going to be y equals to 0 minus 2 squared minus 4. And that's actually going to end up giving us 0. So the y-intercept is at 0 and 0. And then the last thing we need is x-intercepts. To do that, we make y 0. Okay, and then you can multiply the bracket out. Because remember that x minus 2 to the power of 2 is, means that there are two brackets. Just be careful there. So now if we simplify, these 4s are going to cancel. And so we're just going to end up with x squared minus 4x. You can use the quadratic formula here. Or if you wanted to, it would be probably be faster for this one to factorize. And so x is going to be 0, or, okay, that doesn't look right, x equals 0, or x equals to 4. So those are your two x-intercepts. We've already got the 0 one, and then the other one would be 4. Okay, so this is the original graph. Let's just quickly draw it in there. Now, to draw the inverse, all that we need to do is switch the values around. So 0, 0 will still become 0, 0. 4, 0 will become 0, 4. And then 2 and negative 4 will become negative 4 and 2. And so I'm going to go fill all the values in. The 0, 0 is already there. 0 and 4 would be somewhere over here. 0 and 4. And then minus 4 and 2 would be over here. And then we can connect, and then we can also have 0, 0, and then you can connect the dots. And so it's going to be a graph that looks something like that.